Hi, Ryan here from the Saskatchewan Safety Council. Just here to talk to you a little bit about uh, harnesses and lanyards. This video is not meant to replace a certified fall protection course, but it will provide you with simplified information to aid you in your safety. There are five categories of fall protection. We'll deal specifically with travel restraint and fall arrest in this video by addressing the ABCs, anchor point, body wear, and connecting devices. A travel restraint setup ensures that you cannot travel close enough to the edge to risk a fall, similar to how a short leash keeps a dog out of trouble. Fall arrest is the least favorable fall protection option, but it is an absolute lifesaver. When you're purchasing a harness, you want to make sure it's a proper size, proper fit, and rated for the body type that you have. Some of the things that you want to make sure are that it's snugly fit in all areas, starting with the shoulders, the chest should be up, chest high, nice and snug, and your leg straps are very important as well. The rule of thumb for that is two fingers between the strap and your leg. Anything more than that and it's too loose. And attached to the harness is the lanyard. Very important piece of equipment that you want to make sure you have while working at heights. If you're using fall arrest, you're going to want a lanyard with a shock absorber. If you're using travel restraint, not necessary. Of course, all of this is pointless unless it's connected to something. That something is your anchor point. When using fall arrest, your anchor point has got to be able to withstand 5,000 pounds. With travel restraint, temporary restraint anchors must be rated for 800 pounds, and permanent anchors should handle 2,000 pounds. Do not use travel restraint lanyards or anchors for fall arrest scenarios. And remember, fall arrest will stop you from falling to your death, but it will leave you hanging around unless you have a rescue plan in place. Let others know where you are, have them check on you, and plan on how you can be rescued safely.